Hello, I'm Vishal. Uh, let's create a bicycle tire in this tutorial. Um, for that, uh, we will be using a duplicate special tool uh, and few of the options in it. So for that bicycle tire, I would like to start with a, a torus uh, primitive. So torus has been placed in the origin. So I'm rotating this uh, torus uh, vertically. Uh, so uh, when I rotate normally it just rotates uh, with a without any increment but if I press J on the keyboard uh, and then rotate it it will rotate with an uh, increment of 15 degrees uh, this option can be seen uh, in the tool settings of the rotation tool for that you select the tool settings and you will find a discrete rotate option uh, here you could see that here you see this word by ste uh, step snap but uh, in older version it is called discrete rotate uh, so when I press J on the keyboard you are seeing it is absolutely rotating 15 degrees that means even if I am somewhere uh, 5 degrees or something like that it will jump to the 15 here there would be one more option here which is relative so if, if that is relative then if it is 5 and then rotate it will go to the 20 degrees or like so so I'll switch this option to the off and then I'm going to choose uh, you can check that rotation is 90 degrees so it's only uh, to get some idea on uh, the model so I'm using this section radius and then I'm, I'm increasing the uh, radius of this wheel and then I'm going to uh, increase the section uh, the axis here axis subdivisions I'm, I'm adding more points uh, here uh, just for uh, um, a decent uh, subdivisions and the shape of the model uh, that's uh, the first thing and I would like to create a pipe model here create polygon primitives and uh, we have pipe here or uh, I can also get by holding shift and right click on the keyboard and then you will able to see a pipe model here so I'll select this pipe model rotate it 90 degrees and then choose the uh, radius of this uh, to 0 0.3 or something like that with a thickness of 0 0.05 uh, or something like that and height I'll put it to a 2.5 I'm just trying to create some middle frame there uh, I will use insert edge loop tool uh, here and while I'm uh, um, for that uh, actually I have to use this tool from the menu somewhere um, here mm, insert edge loop tool here you could see that in mesh tools uh, this options so as I saw you saw I was struggling finding the tool I'm more comfortable by marking menu for that I'm holding shift and right click and then choosing insert edge loop tool options and there I'm using multiple edges and I'm putting it to one When I click it I'll get exactly one line in the middle and now I'm going to use uh, another tool called offset edge loop tool for that uh, I'm going to click here in the middle line and then click and drag I get a line on the sides once I got that I select both these lines and then apply bevel uh, and then um, I'm using the fractions option and then uh, reducing the uh, thing now I'm going to select the um, ring here uh, so in select you got um, select convert mm. I'm just looking for a, uh, a ring tool convert selection to edge ring here yeah then you could see that edge ring is uh, there is the easiest method again I, as I said I am more comfortable with the marking menus so I am selecting control right click and then you got ring 
and I've got two ring and then again uh, we have an option called uh, convert selection to um, uh, faces here uh, I'm holding control right click again and I'm choosing the faces option and then I'm holding uh, I'm pressing control E on the keyboard uh, so that I'm I can able to use the extrude tool there uh, like that uh, so I'll get the armature sort of detail I could see the size looks too big so yeah I'm trying to uh, make it look more reasonably correct uh, we can generally add the hole here mm, but I'm not really adding any hole at this point of time just uh, the idea is to understand the uh, duplicate special tool that's it so I would like to take a pipe again uh, I'm, I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees and I'm increasing the radius and then I'm increasing or uh, reducing the thickness like that and I'm putting a height of 1 and uh, a radius uh, 3.5 3.6 and I'm going to scale this uh, model like that and uh, 3.65 okay uh, this model has got uh, axis subdivisions of 80 for this also I'm going to take 80 subdivisions uh, because I just want uh, that many lines to be added on the model there now I want to uh, select the faces on this side so I'm selecting the edges and then selecting the uh, ring by holding control and right click and then control right click again this time I'm selecting the faces pressing control E and then I'm moving this uh, little bit outside and uh, I'm going to move uh, the faces inside like that um, I'm pressing 3 on the keyboard so that it will so I'll, I'll assign a new material uh, for this I'll use a pong material and then choose uh, uh, black color and then making it slightly shiny and for this also uh, I'm using fong sorry I'll not use fong I'll use blend shader and uh, color I'm going to take a dark color and specular color I'll take white this is only for the uh, viewport shading nothing right so I've got the uh, detail there so I'm going to select this line here um, and then and I'm going to scale this a little bit because uh, maybe I've done something wrong um, left and right are not matching I can do symmetry also but okay mm, again that's not my main concern so I'll take a cylinder here uh, for the spoke I'll assign uh, existing uh, blend material for this and I'm going to choose a radius of 0 0.1 or 0 0.05 or 0 0.01 uh, for the spoke and I'll use the axis subdivisions of 8 not much because I just want to save the polygon count I don't want to use too many polygons I have selected the model and then with the vertex point selected I'm moving it up there and I'm moving it uh, down there and then what I'm going to do is I'll go to the side view or front view where I could see the side of the tire and then I'm going to move the pivot point to the center like that so that I've uh, placed the pivot point here I'm going to choose freeze transformation so that uh, the model is freezed and I'll duplicate the construction history by pressing Alt Shift and D so that I've got this now I'm going to rotate this uh, uh, around the whole axis uh, I know that there would be 18 spokes on one side so I'll, uh, I'll go to the duplicate special and then firstly choose the rotation axis this is rotation Z so I'll choose instance and uh, uh, at a pace of uh, uh, if I want 18 then 
I need to rotate uh, mm, I'll, I'll use calculator here so 360 divided by 18 gives me the rotation axis so this is the number I got here 20 degrees uh, 360 divided by 18 so in rotation Z I'm using 20 and number of copies I'm going to use 18 but already there is one so I'm, I'm going to use only 17 here and I'm choosing the instance type for the duplicate so once that is done the geometry type is instance rotation Z is 20 number of copies to 17 I get this model there so that I've got this uh, uh, model here now I do anything to this model um, like I'm going to uh, uh, do some modeling for this and uh, you could see that will be applied for the uh, other side so I'm going to select that faces and I'm going to choose uh, extrude again um, just to get some idea and I'm going to select that points uh, there and uh, and I want to choose that um, roughly there then I want to select the face and then press control E and then I want to move control E and then control E and then I'm scaling that control E scaling control E and moving out so I get the spokes uh, this way now I'm going to select the uh, cylinders which are there here um, I am need to um, do the copy on the opposite side so what I'm going to do is first I'm going to combine them into one piece or you can group it if you want so I'm combining this and pressing alt shift D to delete the history of the uh, combine and then uh, this all nodes need to be deleted so I've got the spokes here uh, when I combine generally in older versions you would have got the pivot point in center but here uh, let me see if there is any such option um, uh, pivot point position can be set to it, uh, world or origin if you really want to do that uh, there's option but uh, no matter I'll just change it I just press D uh, for the pivot point and X for the grid snap and then I snap it there and that should work so once that is done here I'm going to uh, press control D and then scale the Z and choose it minus one so I got the spokes on the opposite side and I'm choosing freeze transformation and now uh, I will rotate this in Z 10 degrees <coughs> because I just earlier rotated uh, 20 so you see that I've got a nice uh, bicycle wheel I'll also just get some idea uh, of uh, building the grip for the tire it's uh, one of the way uh, um, uh, cheaper way of doing the tire there there is more uh, a, you know complex way also where you can really concentrate on the flow of the grip but here just we are trying to just uh, get an idea or uh, understand the approach of things here so I'm just pressing control D and I'm rotating this on the opposite side and uh, and uh, I'm pressing control D again and I'm moving this like that uh, so I told you that we can uh, uh, when combined uh, we can set the pivot point to the origin so I'll combine them control D it and then in Z I'll put minus one uh, for the symmetry and then uh, I'll slightly rotate this uh, grip a little bit now I'm going to choose the combine and then delete history make sure that your outliner is uh, really clean so once that is done uh, I press control D and then just uh, you know move it like that before that 
uh, I'll assign the font shader and then press control D and then rotate it like that so how much I'm rotating is really important take a proper number so I'm taking two degrees so in that matter I should get a 180 copies like that so I go to the uh, uh, edit duplicate special and choose instance uh, I need to check the rotation axis it is rotation Z so rotation Z is uh, two degrees and number of copies is 179 and make sure that you have chosen instance so when you do that you get the copy of the grip all the way and you do anything uh, here uh, for the model uh, you get that thing uh, applied for all the other sides see this is not a we, we first model uh, uh, one grip and then deal with the uh, uh, we make a copy but here I just want to show you how the instance tool work uh, that's the only idea uh, uh, I'm trying to give you here and uh, I can uh, So you see, just I've got that uh, nice grip over the tire. Okay, so yeah, that's a quick idea of uh, how we can do a cycle tire, a bicycle tire. So um, this is a quick glimpse on uh, the duplicate special. There's nothing uh, I'm talking about duplicate special right now. I'm just trying to use the tool and then show it up. Uh, thank you very much.